Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we are going to be looking at Pine Bark and Dials. 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 My audio thing. But first, we're going to kick off with a brand new track. Monty G, this is Love Me Still. Good morning, welcome to the show. That was Auntie G, and um, get get it right. Uh, <laughs> love me still. I should know that by heart. Uh, beautiful Auntie G is just amazing, isn't she? What a great singer! She just when she puts out so many different styles, she challenges herself all the time. And um, another song I was really lucky enough to 
uh, master on the on my Patreon. You can get your songs mastered too, by the way, and have them sounding as cool as that by joining Patreon right here. For a dollar a month, I'll master your songs. And if you spend a little more and join the higher tier, you get a chance to win some apps as well. Good stuff. Um, there's a pinned comment up the top of the chat. If you're watching on the replay or here live, you can go and check out Auntie G's YouTube channel or hit her song whip up and you can go and find her on all of the streaming services. Yes, you're late. You're late. You're late for an important date. You missed your own song. It's all right, Auntie G. I'm, I'm sure you know your song. <laughs> you, you wrote it. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom did the boom. Uh, Wicked song. Great stuff. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm excited today. I'm excited. We're looking at a Hein Bark app. I get excited with Hein Bark apps. I'm Jade. This is How to App on iOS. Every day we take a look at apps, song creation, interviews with great people, and um, lots of stuff. Live performances on the weekend. You name it, it happens on this channel. It's not just your tutorials. Lots of fun. And you get to see the things that you make from these apps that we show off, if they uh, are up your alley in purchasing. Also, welcome our Ward Warriors. You can spend a dollar a month, hit the join button down below and become a Ward Warrior, get custom emojis and access to special live events like our quiz we had last weekend and various other things that happen here on the show. Let's say hello to folks who are here in the chat and then we'll get into today's app because it's a good one. The reality, what's going on? Leela just had her show over on her channel. Leela, put the link to your channel into the chat so people can go and subscribe to you and check out what you do looking at apps and stuff every uh, Monday in the US, is it? Is it Monday over there? Tuesday here. Um, hello, Falcro. The Falcro is here. Cold Acres here. Auntie G, Kim Harden Hudson. Hello, hello. The Semtex Cow, hello to you. Who else do I see? I saw Greg O'Sullivan somewhere here. There he is, Greg O'Sullivan, Mike and Dawn, what's happening? Have I got you all? I think I've got you. If you're hiding, I can see there are some people lurking who haven't said anything. Hello to the lurkers. Lurk away, do your thing. You never have to feel like you have to comment or anything like that. There's a link to Leela's channel right there. There's Russ. Yeah, hit like. Do the subscribe stuff, all that stuff. I forget to mention it every day. It's what it is. Princess LDG's cruising by. She's doing a drive-by. Do I have the sound effect? I don't think so. I still do. Amazing. I've still got the sound effect loaded up. There you go. Hello, Princess. Okay, shall we dive in? And um, I'll cover some, some... I don't think there's... Yeah. Let's just dive in because this app is wicked. Uh, first of all, we are going to have a quick look at any price drops or anything like that. Hello, Feisty Feather. Good to see you. There you are. Doink. Doink. All right, let's go over here. Price drops. Rain, noise, and nature sounds. It's free. <laughs> there you go. Rain, noise, and... <laughs> Rain, noise, and nature sounds. It's free. Is it free or are these there in-app purchases? Let's have a look. It says get. No in-app purchases. There you go. So if you're into rain, noise, and nature sounds, there's an app for you. Drop from $4.99 to free. Cool stuff. Terra Pro's on sale. Uh, we'll be looking at the in-app purchase for Terra Pro next week. I got it yesterday and had a play with it, and I've got some codes to give away next week as well for that. Hello, Robbie Stingle. Hello, Ed. I nearly called you Ed Gein. <laughs> Hello, Ed B. Metal. Ed Gein, what the fuck? What's going on? Jim Shannon on sounds. What's happening? Uh, so, Different Drummer is uh, on sale. Uh, Bliss Sample Wiz is on sale. Sample Tron. Slow Machine from Bliss. Cubasis 3. There's a bunch of stuff that's on sale, but we are looking at this today. This is by Audio Thing once again. In conjunction with Heinbach, Heinbach's awesome, one of my favorite artists, one of my favorite creative minds. I had him on the show a while ago. I interviewed him. If you haven't seen that interview, go back and watch it. Heinbach is an extremely fascinating creator. He collects um, old equipment, 
from like wartime and, and Soviet Union and old test equipment and tape, crazy tape to tape machines. And he just creates really avant-garde noise and extreme sounds. And he's just really super creative. And he is behind this. So this is another one uh, of the audio thing, Heinbach apps that has been ported over finally from Mac and PC to iOS. It is $12.99. And I'm not sure. So it's on sale. So there you go. You can see here it's on sale at $12.99. It will go up to $23.99. So if you're going to get it, it, and the sale ends March 10th, just so we're clear. It does work on iOS, so iPhone and iPad. And let's have a little look at uh, where it's come from. So it's, as I said, it's also available on uh, PC and Mac. And here's the website at audiothing.net. And it is currently on sale for PC and Mac for 49 US dollars, normally $79. So it's on sale here. What is it though? So as it says here, it's the treasured sound of 1950s electronics recreated. Dials is a detailed digital translation of a unique combination of 1950s electronic music hardware from composer and YouTuber Heinbach Studio. Um, essentially, it is it is a channel strip. Yeah, it's a wonderful channel strip made from real. <laughs> look at this photo of Heinbach in his scientific uh, lab coat. <laughs> so funny. So it's a channel strip, and you can see this is the two pieces of gear that it is based off. So this is a, a low, high-pass filter. Yeah, so it's a whole filtering system, one piece of gear. And then you've got here, this, this thing has a compressor on it. It has a gain and everything. And he's combined both of these together. So it has a preamp. So 1950s, 60s German measurement instrument was originally used to send a fixed level and frequency to a radio transmitter. On the receiver end, it could then be checked how much signal came through and what adjustments had to be made. And then you've got the filter here. So it's an Allison Labs filter. Uh, these were commonly used in science labs and early electronic music studios. Unlike their German stepped counterparts, they could be swept, at least in parts, that allowed a much more fine filtering of frequencies. So they are banged together to make this wonderful piece of equipment. There's Heinbach there. Awesome. And uh, yeah, just wait to see what this does to the simplest of sounds. It's quite incredible. So I did spend a bit of time last night, a little bit more time than usual to make a project. So I actually spent a couple of hours making this project across multiple, across two iPads. Let's open it up. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. This is a big project with a lot of things happening. And pay attention, there's a lot of instances of dials running on each track. Look, we've got four here, three here, three here, one over here, which tells you this is a very low maintenance app. It doesn't take up a lot of uh, power. Plus, I am using uh, an iPad Pro 2022 with 16 gigs, so there's that. Um, when I ran this project on my 2018 iPad Pro, it maxed out the DSP to 100. So we're currently sitting at 40, so big difference. And when I start playing, it will go up to about 70, I would suggest. Um, hello, Stephen Hewitt, what's happening? iOS Music Man, what's going on? All right, so just to kick off, before I start playing this and making these sounds for you, let's make sure everything's right. Um, I want to show you the sounds that we're starting with. Yeah. So. So we've got a sine wave and some noise. We've got an alternating sine wave. We've got uh, just a plain sine wave and we've got a lower pink noise over here and we're going to turn this into music <laughs> all right let's activate all of these and um, let's see how we go so yeah there's a lot of effects here running and I'll mute myself 
Okay, we're all good, I think. Everything's set, just make sure. Cool. Yep, we're all good. Sound coming out of there, sweet. Alrighty, I'll mute myself and let's make some music, shall we?
Righty. Good fun, good fun, good fun. So again, that was all. The basis of that track was made from just using these sounds here. Which is quite cool, yeah? To know that that can happen. Because that's not very musical at all. <laughs> all right, let's jump in and show you how to use this thing. Turn all this down. And we'll delete this project. Thank you all for being here today. Um, we'll clear this out. Luckily, I've saved that project, so we're good to go. I can load that up anytime I need to. And we're going to open up. Uh, this one here. So what I'm running here to show this off today, to go through how everything works with this, is I've got a, a version of Helium running just with some simple chords. I probably need to fix these chords. Just let me fix these up. They're not looking so good here. They're not in time. So Helium, if you don't know what Helium is, you can actually, in AUM, uh, you've got this piano roll and you can uh, create music in here. So it's just four chords, and, if I, and I'm running Copperhead connected to there. So we've got Helium's just got these uh, four chords on a loop, and I've got it connected to Copperhead. So if we hit play. Nice. Nice big synth sound. Big Nebula preset from uh, Four Pockets on Copperhead. Huge sound. And uh, let's bring in, as you can see here, I've got two copies of uh, dials connected. Let's see what it does to this. Wow. That got serious. And you'll notice we've got movement here because I've got connected to this an LFO that is changing the frequency knobs. That's how we're getting those frequencies happening. Let's bring in another instance. And then finally an AB Vortex, just to give it some reverb and space. Okie doke. I'm gonna load up another instance of dials. Because as I said at the start of the show, this runs incredibly low resources. As you can see, I had many, many uh, instances of this running in the background. So let's have a quick look at what is in here. As we said at the start, this is a, it's got multiple sections. So we've got a preamp here. So just think of it slicing in three sections here, yeah? So we have our preamp, which has a volume and gain. So we can get some dirt on here. We've got an oversample. We can click on this and we can oversample this and get some really crazy oversampling going on. The next section is a compressor and this compressor is lovely. Very, very warm compressor. So modeled off, you know, uh, old test equipment. I can guarantee you on my show on uh, Wednesday, when I finish off my Kindercore track, I'm gonna use this compressor for my vocals and not use anything else off here. This compressor for vocals is fucking nice. Uh, so you've got a compressor with an envelope and you can bypass the compressor. Hello to Joe Glenn. Hope you're well. Um, and also the, the final section of this channel strip is the filter section. You've got a high pass multiplier, a low pass multiplier, and you've got a high pass and low pass uh, section here, frequency section. And you've got a Q. For each of these filters, you've got a Q. So you can tighten up the filter or spread it out just like you would with EQ. Yeah, so it's a Q band. So there's one down here as well. 
and these are connected together. So section one is your preamp, section two is your compressor, section three is your filters, and then down the bottom we have our LFO, which you can connect to pretty much anything up here, and then we have our routing, uh, our mix and output and a little soft clip there just to rein things in. Yeah, a little soft clip there just to rein it all in. Of course, you've got presets up the top here. You've got a swaft of presets to mess around with. But let's just start this up. So we're on just the initial patch and everything's pretty much at zero. We'll pull the gain down. We've got everything set to mix and let's just mess around and show you what it will do, apparently, to this keyboard sound. So obviously with the preamp over here, we can give it some volume. Yeah, then we've got a gain knob. And you can see straight away, that gives it some real dirty saturation if we want. So if we uh, unhook this, nice. Nice bit of saturation. We've got a compressor, which can reel that back in. So see, we put this up to four. Here, listen to that compressor work. Really pulls it, reins it back in, pulls it down. That's a compressor you can hear a difference with, yeah? So we can crank up this gain a bit more. Really dirty that up. You can hear that compressor overworking, <laughs> creating some real filth. We've got an envelope for the compressor. We can bypass the compressor. Quick bypass down there. Now let's talk about our filters. So we've got a high pass filter and they're at this position where they're aiming diagonally down, they are both off. These are some Really, really sick compressors, uh, um, filters. And then we have our high pass multipliers. And our Q. And our low pass multiplier. So what we can do with our uh, LFO down here, we've got a bunch of different waveforms. We've got a sine, triangle, square, saw up, saw down, sine up, sine down, exponential, up, down, and S and H. Let's just use the sine and get these, get this moving first. So this is our low pass multiplier, which can be found here. Turn it on, so this is your on button. We can slow this down. Wow. 
what? Yeah, so this one here, uh, for the frequency, so you can see here, audible. Frequency, high pass and low pass frequency. That is these ones. And the multiplier. Here we go. Is uh, here. So this is the, these are the multipliers. And the Qs, I'm pretty sure the high pass, they are for resonance. Is that right? I think I'm right. So. Yeah, there's your resonance for the Qs. Am I wrong? Who knows? <laughs> so you can see we've already got movement there with that low pass. And all I've really got going is this low pass filter moving here. I can animate, I can uh, send a LFO to this queue as well. So you can see now we've animated, we're sending some movement to this queue. Really beautiful stuff. We can also control the speed over here with this LFO. Or we can lock it to the BPM of our project by clicking this little note here. Let's introduce the uh, high pass multiplier. We'll take this backwards, yeah? Because you can go into the minus or you can go forward. That's the uh, gain removed. It sounds so gritty. We can also uh, add an LFO to the volume. Now remember also, you can Add another LFO. I already have an LFO connected over here. I could set this up now to mess around with this high pass and low pass filter. Let's try that. Uh, we'll go with the uh, frequency. We'll set this to on and 15. And now we are <laughs> controlling this from an external LFO. Turn this one on as well. We'll set this to 13. So the other cool thing. Is we can turn down the mix of this. So if we bring down the mix down here, so it, you can just still hear it going on. You can still hear that filter happening, the compressor. And what it does is it gives us the opportunity to add another instance and start layering up dials. So let's add a preset in here.
There we go. So now we've layered up two of these just by pulling the mix back in this one, pulling the mix back in this second one. We can go in and add something else in here. So it's quite limitless what you can do with this thing. Just beautiful filtering. Let's add in an AU Gen, which will just be a sine wave. Throw in another audio thing app like Texture. Throw in a bit of filter lab so we get some movement left and right.
gonna add in some. So what's happening is here, I'm, I've added another dials, but we're just pulling it back in the mix just so it's got like a ring modulator, this one, just so it's not overpowering. Give it a, a solid kick with a hammerhead to give it some. Just something underneath it. Pretty crazy stuff, man. Really beautiful stuff. So there's a, a crap load of, uh, of presets in here. We'll clear this out. Should I save this? We'll just save it. Uh, no, we'll save it as something else. Uh, one, that'll do. Um, let's open something else I've got here. Maybe. Inbox. I think it's... Uh, which one is it? I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh, it demo. This one, maybe. Cool, cool. What's in here? Um, this is fundamental. Let's go through some of these LFOs. We're set to a sign at the moment. We've got a square. So you can hear the difference there. Really good for rhythmic stuff. I forgot to mention too, you can change around, you can manipulate the routing here. So if you want the compressor at the front, you can do so. You can move these 
the high pass filter, low pass filter, have the preamp at the end of the chain. So you've got multiple ways to set up your routing to create different sounds. that in some uh, Mononoke. Okay, let's run through some presets with Mononoke. We'll go back to our initial. So this is the sound we have coming through Mononoke. Let's just throw on the compressor, show you how good this compressor is. Such a nice compressor. Right, we'll flick through some presets.
Why don't you tell me, Audible? You actually don't know. <laughs> So you've also got a dice here that you can randomize. Let's tell you. Let's get it straight from the horse's mouth. Shall we? Did I go past it? Oversample. Selects the amount of over oversample to reduce aliasing artifacts. There you go. So yeah, there is a help menu in here. Really easy to find. Just by clicking on the little thing and it opens up the website. Let's get back over here to this. And um, what's I going to do? I'm losing my mind. I was going to load up a microphone just to show you uh, the um, the uh, compressor by itself. So what have we got? One, let's bring this microphone over and turn this sucker on. Hello. There we go. We've got sound. So let me give you some volume on this. So this is just a mic with nothing on here. What has... <laughs> uh, let's load up dials. And I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to bring up this volume in this compressor. Yo, yo, so you should be able to hear straight away by turning this off. That compressor, boom! Well, take down that gain a bit. Well, well, yeah. Is mighty and there's a bunch of presets for vocals in here so we've got a compressor uh, preset for vocals let, let me, me turn, turn off, off the other mic, mic. is that, that better yeah there we go oh, 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 oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh, 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 oh. turn that off oh 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 Whoa, ho, ho. So, so that's called an Alto uh, Vox. I'm pretty, pretty sure there's another one in here called, uh, if I can find it, a Heinbach voiceover. This is actually what Heinbach uses to uh, do his voiceovers in his YouTube videos. Yeah. So this is the compressor that he actually uses. Uh, if you go and watch his video, he actually shows that. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. So this is just a really nice compressor as well. Um, it's just a really, really nice compressor. And it's got the ability to uh, mess around with the high pass and low pass filters as well, which is cool. So we can do all that stuff. You can hear, we can really get in there and mess with those with the filters to get a really interesting vocal sound, if that's what you're after. Yeah? So, 
How's that? So if you want that radio, that squelchy kind of radio voice thing, you can pull that off as well. So not only just um, something for creating wild sounds, definitely something good for vocals. Uh, was there another one in here? I don't think so. Small voice. So you can hear this one. There's more of that twang, more of that uh, echoey kind of sound. This is a uh, uh, using the high pass and low pass. But a super powerful compressor. Absolutely powerful shit. There's a bit of dirt on this, so we can take that out of there. Yeah. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Love it. Love that uh, there's the ability to do that and create some interesting sounds. So you're getting a compressor as well. You're getting a whole bunch of cool things out of this. Let me just move this microphone out the way. And see if... Um, did I not load it in here? Did I not do that? Let's see. Inbox dials pad one. Oh, I did. I've got this. I did load something up. So we'll end with this. It's it. We're at the hour. So this is something I made last night, just messing around before I went to bed. And yes, it's got flus. It's got flus running in it. Of course, I had to do something with flus. So this is Fluss by Heinbach as well and Bramboss. Let's, you can see here I've got th three instances of <laughs> dials, one of texture. The first one's just to give it some thickness. Second one's to give it some rhythm. So we're getting all this just from one app. And then we've got texture to give it some shimmer. So we've got that shimmer there in the background. I'll show you my settings. So the first one has a little bit of movement, not too much, compressor up to five, some dirt on the gain. Second one, has a fair bit of movement just to get create that rhythm. And again, we've got the mix down to about a quarter. So there's plenty of room for the next effect to come in. And we've got texture running nice low mix here with a, an octave up for the pitch. And then finally, we've got a pulse in here to give us a beat. And this is all coming from the one sound, yeah? So if I hit play now, yeah. is that kick and basically I've got a dials on this kick it's just a kick yeah and I'm using the patch drum bass drum sub which is giving us that sounds beautiful And finally, tomorrow we're looking at this app, and trust me, it's sick. This is by Fab Filter. Fab Filter Twin 3 has just dropped. We're looking at this tomorrow.
Wicked fun. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, I saw, I think I saw Mars arrive here late and ask what this is. It is uh, by Heinbach and Audio Thing. It is uh, test equipment, pretty much. It is uh, 1950s test equipment. It's two pieces of test equipment from Heinbach's collection smashed into one. You've got a compressor. You've got a preamp. You've got a filter. There's a huge LFO section and a routing system. So complete scientific mayhem that can be made with this thing. Uh, it's, it's only your imagination that's limiting you, really. As you can see, beautiful to load up multiple instances of it. There's a link down in the description if you want to go and check it out. Leela's put an, a link to it there, so thank you very much for that. But really easy to layer up multiple sounds, and they, they, say, they just sound great. Um, I love it, love it, love it, love it. We'll go out today uh, by opening, uh, closing, because I put so much work into it. <laughs> we'll close with uh, the track that I opened with today, that I made, uh, shall we? Uh, Pete Johns is up uh, soon in about, what, uh, 45 minutes kind of time. He's doing some mastering today for his punk song, which I was lucky enough to play drums on. So make sure you hear for that while this project is loading up and um uh, yeah tomorrow very exciting very exciting tomorrow because we are taking a look at this hang on that's the wrong picture um we're taking a look at uh, <laughs> what are we taking a look at we're taking a look at this Twin 3 by Fab Filter. Is Twin 3 the best synthesizer on iOS? Tomorrow we will answer that question for you or you will answer it for yourself. Yeah, that's all you. It's up to you if you think it's good or not. Uh, the day after that, folks, I'm continuing on uh, finishing my wherever it is, something, something or other that I'm supposed to be doing. There it is, end track. I'm finishing up my Kindercore song. This week, hopefully mixing and mastering because I'm um, doing vocals today and using that compressor, so that's cool. And then we're wrapping out the end of this week with an interview with a really cool band here from Melbourne called Fire Ta Tail, uh, Jamie McElhinney. <laughs> Jamie McElhinney will be on the show. He's the dude who did my dreadlocks last week. It turned out he plays in a wicked band. So um, he's going to come on the show. We're going to talk dreadlocks. We're going to talk being in a cool jazz fusion band that's uh, doing really big things here in Australia and um, find out more about him. He's a really cool dude. So that is happening. All that jazz on the channel this week. Boom. Let's go out with this project uh, that I started off with. And um, yeah. Do the things that make you happy, guys. Remember, mistakes make you better and we'll, uh, we'll all rise together. I'll put myself on mute and we'll make some sound. See you later.